Defense Secretary James Mattis says it is, quote, game on if North Korea shoots at the United States. It's the latest warning to the communist regime as it talks of plans to launch missiles in waters near Guam, a U.S. Pacific territory. Mattis told reporters, quote, you don't shoot at people in the world unless you want to bear the consequences. A 13 year old girl is dead and her younger brother seriously injured after a car slammed into a pizzeria outside Paris today. French officials said the driver drove his BMW into the people at that pizzeria. France's interior ministry described the man as apparently suicidal and said the attack had nothing to do with terrorism. Pop star Taylor Swift has won her lawsuit against a former radio host who she accused of groping her. The jury agreed Swift was assaulted and awarded her the symbolic $1 she was asking for. David Muller had also sued Swift. You see the photo, the now infamous photo. Uh, he had claimed her allegations cost him his job, but a judge dismissed his suit last week. I'm Jake Cashmere in the newsroom tonight. Tiger Woods responding to the release of the toxicology report from his DUI arrest on Memorial Day in Jupiter. In a statement given to the Golf Channel, Woods said that he has been trying on his own to treat his back pain and a sleep disorder, but realized it was a mistake without medical assistance. ESPN reported today five drugs were found in Woods' system, including Vicodin, Xanax, and Ambien. And it was also THC and muscle relaxant that is also the substance the body metabolizes after marijuana is consumed. Woods told the Golf Channel he is grateful for the support from his friends and family. Last week, Woods agreed to plead guilty to reckless driving and enter a diversion program in exchange to drop the DUI charge. He returns to court in October. Back to you, Kelly. While many of the students in our area started school today, Martin County students will head back to class tomorrow. In an emergency meeting on Friday, the school board there voted to reinstate 90 eliminated bus stops, which would have ended bus service for almost 900 students. Tonight, the school district posted bus routes. You'll find a link to this map on WPTV.com.